Hold your people, you goddamn head down, right? You hear me? Take out that gunner! Stay here, you don't need a goddamn one! Please don't leave. I don't want to die. God damn it, kid. No, no, please. 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 No. No, don't leave. Wake up, Bill. Come on, wake up. Please don't shoot him, Luther. Nobody's gonna shoot nobody. We're just here to take Bill to jail. Jail? <laughs> now, hold on a minute. I ain't done nothing. You sell a horse in a carriage to Sam here? Ain't nothing wrong with a little commerce, is there? But did you own that horse and carriage? I would have had any kind of luck. <sighs> Get up and get dressed. And don't try nothing. Because I got your gun. Can I leave? Let her go. She's a fine woman. Highly talented. You may quote me, my dear. Thank you. I'll come visit you, Bill. Go! Hardly remind you that I never miss. Your gun, please, and mine. You think you're gonna get away with this, Bill? Sam, open the closet. Get inside. Oh, but Bill, I'm not really good in confined spaces. Sam! Closet or the bullet, come on. You too, Sheriff. Sorry. I'm not gonna forget this. Sure you won't. Get inside. I'm coming for you, Billy.
I'm gonna need to see a ticket, man. Sir? I'm sorry. Your ticket or your money to buy one or your life? Hickok? Do I know you? Corporal Fred Finley. You know, red uniforms, behind red lines? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Move out the way, please. Sir, excuse me. Forgive me, I'm, I'm desperate. Ticket, please. What's going on here? It seems my friend here has misplaced his wallet. Yeah, lose it all the time. Well, I'm still gonna need a ticket, sir. Don't worry, I'll take care of his ticket. <laughs> Whiskey salesman, huh? Oh, yeah. Bourbon, rye, brandy. We're a whole Midwest clear to Omaha. Suits you down to a T, Ted. You don't remember me, do you? <laughs> oh, remember my favorite corporal? You remember Maddie? My cousin? Well, I introduced you to her. Maddie? Fred Finley. Bill Hickok. Be two bits. Okay. You ever had Kentucky bourbon? Sir. Thanks, Phil Poe. Crowder, this is that. Bill. Bill Hickok. Wild Bill Hickok? Been known to go by that name. Yeah, get Mr. Hickok a bottle of my private stock. Could I uh, interest you in a game? Much obliged, but I... Uh... Ah, no buts, no buts. Well, I can resist anything but temptation. <laughs> well, we want you to feel at home, Mr. Hickok. Enjoy your bourbon. In the game. Appreciate it. That's the famous Wild Bill? Oh, hell, he don't look like he got a pot to piss in. Gentlemen, I seem to have misplaced my wallet, so... If it's all the same to you, then, uh... My, my marker is my word of honor. House rules. You calling? I'm raising 20 more. Wait, hold on. You're a goddamn cheater. You've been winning every hand all night long. Now, hold on, son. This happens in poker, and even a blind hog finds an acorn once in a while. Oh, yeah? Who the hell are you? Nah, there's no need for that. Put the gun down. You, just, you have a lot to learn about poker. I'll be happy to teach you. No, 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 don't shoot him, Sam. He's just a boy. <laughs> Idiots. Oh. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey, 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 hey! What? Which one's your horse? Huh? Uh. That one! Much obliged.
Go so far so I can see you, please. What do you want, old man? You can start by putting that gun away. Name's George Knox, mayor of that town. Figured maybe we could just go somewhere and talk for a while. It used to be quiet here, a place where people could raise their youngins without the fear of a stray bullet. Things ain't so quiet anymore. Now we can use someone with your skills to help us get this town back to that place. How would you like to be Marshal of Abilene? Why the hell would I want to do a crazy thing like that? The same reason you just interfered in another man's quarrel and put yourself between him and a bullet. Because sometimes it takes a good man to stop bad people. I ain't a good man. Son, every man's got his demons. How much does the job pay? $100 a month. That's not nearly enough. $150 and $10 extra for every man you arrest. What about each man I shoot? It ain't blood money. $10 for every man you arrest, not kill. Now, we got a deal? Deal. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your last marshal? Resigned. You mean he was killed? <laughs> well, that's gonna cost you a little extra. Say, a house and some new clothes. I think we can handle that. Marshal. All right. Now you fine gentlemen let me know if y'all need anything else, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, within a week, Abilene be an island in a sea of Texas cattle and Texas humans. With all due respect, Mayor, this is a good Christian town, a God-fearing town. Well, for God's sakes, get off your high horse, Jenkins. You and I both know that Abilene could teach Sodom and Gomorrah a few lessons. But Knox, hiring a gunslinger? You think that's the right move? Damn right it is. Woo-wee! You sure are pretty. <laughs> Damn if I ain't. You know, I can't seem to figure out how I ended up in here and you ended up out there. Didn't you steal my horse? Son, I'm gonna give you a word of advice. You're sitting at the poker table and you can't see who the idiot is, it's you. I saved your life by throwing you in that box. You should be thankful. Yeah, uh, just what did you hit me with anyways? Big old bottle, scotch, damn shame. <laughs>
the hell are you doing? You follow me around with this? I want to be a lawman when I grow up. A lawman, huh? <laughs> Why aren't you in school? Don't you know nothing? It's Saturday. Saturday? Go on, get out of here. I want my gun. No, I'm keeping your gun. I like it. I said I want my gun, you bastard! Hold up your hands, you son of a bitch! I saw what you did to that poor boy. You've run through your luck. Every breath you take from now on is a person present for me. You wouldn't murder a man without giving him a fair play, would you? I'm gonna learn your lesson. <laughs> Can you dance? <laughs> you look up all pretty in that get up. Listen, why don't you calm down and I'll give you my guns. Yeah. Like the sound of that? Somebody give me a hand here. Yeah, I'll take charge here. Mr. Preacher? In addition to my holy duties, I'm also the town undertaker. Well, that's handy, I guess. We are a God-fearing town, Marshal. It's like the good book says, waste not, want not. <sighs> Sorry to disappoint you. Hoist him up. He's all yours. The good book also tells us that all things come to those who wait. You better be careful shooting people, mister. Marshal, Sullivan's a good customer. Your good customer just tried to bushwhack me. Sully's harmless. No one's harmless with a gun and a belly full of liquor. From now on, be sure you don't serve a man more than he can handle. I just take orders, mister. Mr. Poe says the only question I ask is can they pay for their drinks? Welcome. I reckon congratulations are in order. Ben, poor new Marshal will drink of the good stuff. It's all right, Ben. We drink this bottle. Oh, no. What's the matter? Whiskey's whiskey, ain't it? Well, I prefer my own brand. This is your brand. These are all your brands. Unless you're putting bad whiskey into good bottles. Hmm? How much you make, Marshal? 150? It ain't very much. Things are gonna change around here. First thing that's gonna change is this whiskey. I have a duty to the citizens of this town. Would fifty dollars a month change your mind? You know, the second thing is gonna change. These cards. I got a sneaking suspicion that people ain't been getting a square deal. You're a good man, Bill. I spotted that right off. Let me say hundred dollars, man. <laughs> and what kind of a marshal would I be if I didn't follow the letter of the law? I reckon 25% of the house sounds about right, don't it? Mm. This offer is non-negotiable. You're a pragmatist, Bill. That's a quality that I admire in a man. Luck is a lady. Miss me in the house. Luck is female, but she ain't a lady. When the lights are out, neither am I. Marshal. Uh, 
How many of them are there? Three. Didn't mean to interrupt. Ma'am. It's here to escort you to Mr. Poe's. I'll come when I'm good and ready. Yes, sir. Get out of here. Close the door. Like my new hotel? Nice, huh? Joey. Fine boy you have here. Get out of here, Joey. Come on. That young hellion takes after his mother. Huh? I'm afraid she's overindulged the boy. Let me introduce you, gentlemen. This is our new marshal, Mr. Bill Hickok. How do you do? I uh, hope that we can continue our discussion. The scenery's better over there, isn't it? Excuse me, ladies, I'd like to introduce our new lawman to you. And this beautiful creature is my betrothed, Miss Maddie Miles. Uh, <clears throat> ladies, most honored to meet your acquaintances. I hope that you come to see me as a protector and a friend in days to come. Please feel free to call upon me anytime. Excuse me. Hi, darling. See, I didn't deserve that. I've been waiting 10 years to do that. You're a son of a bitch. You took off and never came back. You could have written at least once. Uh, I went to war, Maddie. What did you expect? I was dodging bullets left, right, and center. I didn't know whether I was going to live from one day to another. Why am I not surprised? and you forget you ever knew me. Now, hold on. I, I gained nothing by telling you, Mr. Poe, anything. I'm pleased to see you so happy. 300 for your silence and not a cent more. Now you hurt my feelings. When I was young and foolish, I thought you were dashing and gallant. But now I see what you really are. You're a liar. You're a live for today heathenist with no ambition. That's not true. And you only have one particular skill. Killing people.
stuff here. Ooh. Give us a moment, Jerry. What you fretting about, Maddie? I just don't understand how they can make a man like that, Marshal. I just wish you'd use your influence on the town council. Get rid of Hickok. Was he in the army with your husband? No. I don't know him. I just know his top. He only cares about four things. Shooting, drinking, and gambling, and you can guess the last. I suppose I can guess the last. Don't you worry your pretty head about it any longer. I'll take care of you. Let's go, Jerry. Solomon, rise and shine. Time to go home. I am at home. And go to work. I'm at work. I'm the jailer. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> what about me? You know, I have a farm that needs plowing. I'm gonna give you some more advice, son. Drinking, gambling, and shooting, they don't mix. Speaking from personal experience. Best you stay there till you learn your lesson. I'll need money then. Money? What for? For breakfast. We need to feed the prisoner. <clears throat> On the other hand, if as a result of my advice to take alcohol only in moderation and uh, never pull a gun at the poker table, you promise not to do it again, then I'll let you go. But I'm keeping your gun. You can't keep my gun. You can't keep my gun, please. Sullivan, let that idiot out. Presume familiarity. You may call me Mrs. Lyles, sir. Mrs. Lyles. You know, that name sounds familiar. I swear I've heard somewhere before. Here, take it. It's on the house. Take it. And leave. No. No, no, no. I, I insist on paying. You know, this is a nice place you have here, Mrs. Poe. 
know what you're thinking. And yes, Philip did set me up in this little shop. And yes, I am going to marry him. So please, just take your hat and get out of here. Howdy, Bill. What? The shit kicker drew on me first. Look, I'm telling you, it was a fair fight. You got what was coming to him. You just killed an boy, Slater. care of him, all right, preacher? Why don't you worry about that one little bit, Marshal? I'll make sure he gets a first-class send-off. <laughs> I'm talking about the boy. Well, I'm gonna have to raise, boys. Damn, Hickok! I believe this belongs to you. Looks to me like he belongs to the devil now. You ordered this piece of horse shit to shoot the sodbuster? Why would I do that? I didn't have no quarrel with the man. He did pull his gun on me. Slade had this coming anyway. Goon! Come get this piece of shit off my pot. Have a seat, Hickok, and I'll take your money. Self-killed now. Caught a bullet. Where's the bullet? It's in his leg. Okay. Now, son. Oh, God. Okay, son. Now, look. We're gonna have to pull a bullet out right away to stop the bleeding. Okay. So you gotta be brave. I can't give you anything to go to sleep. You're just gonna have to gut it out. Okay. You know what? We could give him a shot. Okay. Whiskey. Really? Yeah. No, no, forget it. Come on. You look really tough. Yeah. You'll be brave, be a good soldier. Okay? Just count to 40. Okay? One, two. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. Grab his foot. Hold his foot. That's it. Okay, Joey, listen. I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me real careful. Look at me. Look at me. Why don't I tell you about the time that I was scouting for my friend, General Custer, in the Black Hills? 
I was far in advance of the column. Okay. I found myself cut off by Cheyennes, most bloodthirsty savages you ever had the displeasure to meet. Now, I managed to slip past them, and they chased me into a, uh, a dead-end canyon, a little narrow passageway leading in. And I knew that they, they could only come through one man at a time, so I decided to make my stand there, OK? So I turn around, and I'm ready. But they disappear. Silence. And bang! Gunfire starts. You know who pops his head through? A little old Confederate boy, okay? He's moving so slow. I put a bullet right between his, between his eyes. And uh, his friends, they clamber over the top of him and come through. And I drop another one, another one. And there's, I'm out of bullets in, okay? So I draw my knife and I back up against the far wall. And that time, you're crowding around me. What happened next? Well, what could I do? I was outgunned, outnumbered, out of ammo. I only had my knife. So what'd you do? Piss my pants, Doc. Now <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 oh, bandage. <sighs> You're doing good. <laughs> you just stay as quiet as you can. I'll tell you one thing, guns are good for business. <clears throat> Can I help you, son? I'm guessing you heard about young Joey. It ain't right that a grown boy can't horse around without risking a bullet. And you're gonna tell me how to keep that from happening? Carrying of firearms within city limits is strictly prohibited. No guns at all. You leave them at camp or you check them in the marshal's office on the way into town. You sure about this, son? Some folks ain't gonna be too happy about this. Yeah, well, you just have to live with it. You know them boys can't belly up to the bar if they cuffed hand and foot to the marshal's desk. Yeah, where am I gonna sleep? in principle. But I think we need to be practical here. This ain't the only town they can drive cattle to. My mind's made up, okay? There's no change in it. And it goes for you, too. Do I need to remind you of our arrangement? Ben, put a goddamn cork in that ball and sit on the side facing me.
See a lot of you sons of bitches violating the no guns ordinance. So I'm gonna explain it to you real simple by uncorking that bottle there. Anyone else beside me do that? If not, kindly head to the bar. Give your guns to Ben for safekeeping. I'd like to give it a try, Mr. Marshall. Another cork in the bottle, Ben. Spin it. Ooh. What do they call you, son? Harden. John Wesley Hart. You wanted somewhere? Most likely somewhere. You best get back to somewhere. Oh, I don't know. I, I kind of like it here. I think I'll stay for a while. I recognize you now. You're not John Wesley Hart. You're Wesley Clemens. Folks call you Little Arkansas. That's a new one, Little Arkansas. You know, you might almost be as fast as me. Ben. Poor Arkansas drink on me. The rest of you keep giving your guns to the bartender. Sully will pick him up later. I'd do some for you. something about that young Marshall of yours. Boy's running all my customers out of town. Now listen to me, you son of a bitch. Ain't no one stopping them boys from drinking that swill you call whiskey. Now you listen to me. If it weren't for my businesses, you wouldn't have no goddamn town. you just blow away in the dust. Ain't right messing with a man's livelihood. And I'd hate to see a young Marshal meet with some unhealthy accident while he's performing his duties. I stand by my decision. Now get your ass off my property before I put a bullet in you. I say we teach this Yankee dandy a lesson. Right out of camp, pick up a spare gun. And a strong rope. Invite Wild Bill to a little necktie party. Good afternoon. We don't much like your new ordinances. Yeah, we don't much like you. Is that so? That's so. We reckon it's time you leave, Abilene, for good. Next person to move, I cut in half. You boys, put your tails between your legs. And you get out of here. Get. Yeah, we'll be seeing you real soon. 
Take care now, Yankee. How was your day? It was all right, buddy. How was yours? It was good. I see you found them. Pearls. Oh, uh, I must have taken them off when I was cleaning. Well, you should be more careful. so excited about, son. You should have seen him. Wild Bill took on a hundred men. He's a tough fella. hundred men, you say? I used to like it when I moved. I don't know if you're aware of it, but you're a hero in Joey's eyes. Do me a favor. Tell him not to be like you. I'll walk you home. Or who are you trying to protect? Me or Mr. Harden, you're pretty fast for a gun. So I've been told. From what I saw, you may be the fastest. You may be the best. I'm gonna take two. What are you gonna do if Wild Bill asks you for your guns? Uh, he ain't asked yet. These drovers, all from the south. Texas mostly. And they don't much cotton to Yankee law, man. I'm just saying if something was to happen to Wild Bill, we'd need a new marshal. You want me to kill Wild Bill for nothing? You never get something for nothing. Now there's a reward. $500 reward. Isn't that ironic? A bounty. 
on a lawman. You in? If you're so anxious to see Wild Bill dead, why don't you kill him yourself? If you want something done right, you ought to hire the best. You know, something tells me, Poe, you're not an honest man. Let's just say I ain't easy to beat. It's time to fish or cut bait. Something's got to be done about a little Arkansas. The son of a bitch is wearing his guns in plain view. When you're a horse and mule, you just teach your horse to run. Well, let's uh, make this drink for long nights with no rest. New Arkansas, I'm calling you out. I'll be in the street waiting. Say the last dance for me. Drop your guns, or I'm going to arrest you. You want my guns. Okay. Take them. You know what you lack in sense, you certainly make up for in gumption. Don't you know anything? I invented the road agent spin. I didn't know you were that old, Marshal. Well, it's a funny thing. The older I get, Well, if you'd like to keep learning, I'd holster that pistol of yours. Notice my hammer tied back. Something should happen to cause my thumb to slip. You will catch a ball right between the eyes. Well, I ain't see what good it's gonna do me to surrender my guns if you're just gonna go ahead and shoot me in the back the second I turn and walk away. You have been misinformed, sir. I never shoot a man in the back. How about a compromise? What do you say to a drink? I say all right. You know, there's a rumor going around about you. It says that you were a Yankee spy during the war. It was a stupid war. Well, you know the only way you can get these guns off me, Marshal, is if you kill me. I'm considering it. <laughs> I'll let you loose. Pretty soon, every bow-legged son of a bitch is going to be wearing these guns, too. I can't allow that. I understand your problem. I do. It's just, I ain't ready to leave town yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking these guns off. You remind me of someone. Well, he sounds handsome. Who? It's not important. Point is, you got potential. 
You just might do. Do what? You want me to be a lawman? Pays a hundred dollars a month. A lot more than a drover makes. Where do you say you live in Arkansas? Well, I say Poe offered me $500 for just one day of work. There's two ways you're leaving this office wearing those guns of yours. Feet first, or wearing that badge. Can I ask you something, Marshal? Mm hmm Why do you call me Arkansas? Because if you were John Wesley Arden, they'd have to hang you. Arkansas it is. Uh, I usually take a different route. He needs patrols, keep the bushwhackers guessing. Well, why the shotgun? It seems to me a rifle would be a little more accurate. You know, this here is what I call preventative medicine. It's all that I filled with blue whistles might have find a turn. Well, I've never had to shoot twice at the same man. <laughs> uh, something you gotta learn about gunfighting. Oh, yeah, what's that? No matter how fast you are, there's always someone faster. The more you use your gun, the sooner you're gonna run into that man. I reckon I still got some time before I meet that man. Last chance. Hand him over, Arkansas. Come get him, Marsha! Bang! 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 You want to come upstairs? Not tonight, Dom. Much obliged. Consider it done. vagrancy in this part of town. You keep your eyes skinned. The lawman has no friends, a few sympathizers. Voluntary benevolence can prove fatal. I don't intend to dive in excess of benevolence. Well, I don't think you got my... You see him? See him? I got him. You can't see him? Yeah, I can see him. You know this dandy here? Yeah, I know. Well, we're lucky he's about as an accurate shooter as you. Kill no man, Marshal. Time for you to meet your maker.
Patrol. Oh, ow. I want you to stay away from Wild Bill. You are not to see or speak to that man again. You hear me? Do you hear me? Whenever I look into a, a light of any kind, they edge me halos, bright as January sundogs. Well, you have a film over your eyes. And it'll be all right for a while. But in five years, five years what? Total blindness. I can't help you. But you can help yourself. You're at a point where you can make a decision and you must make a decision. You can take the path of a boy, reckless and careless and uh, stupid. Or you can take a higher road and become a man. Become a man by plowing fields, huh? Is that what you're suggesting? Get an easier profession. Start leading a different kind of a life. This is all I've been good at my whole life, Doc. What am I gonna do? You cannot ignore this, Bill. You must not ignore it, because it isn't gonna go away. All right. I'd appreciate it if you kept this information yourself. You're a patient. I'm a doctor. Strictly confidential. It stays confidential, or your wife's gonna end up a widow, Doc. I'm serious, Doc. I seen you with the drinking. When you drink, you talk. You wear a badge. I'm a doctor. It's strictly confidential. Trust me. I took an oath. Okay. Well, you remember your oath, and you keep your mouth shut. Thanks for the good news. That's something I want y'all to do. I want y'all to spread the word that that son of a bitch is moon blind. You can't see in the goddamn dark. Hello, Fred. Mr. Poe? Moon blind. Can you handle that? Yeah, boss. We got that. Go on. How are you, Fred? Very good, sir. Need me poison? Well, I'll have a barrel of the old Kentuckian, and then a uh, half dozen barrels of the usual. One old Kentuckian and just, just a half dozen barrels? Half dozen, Fred. Say, Mr. Poe, uh, did a Bill Hickok come through here recently? They call him uh, Wild Bill. Name sounds familiar. Well, Hickok was uh, uh, acquainted to a relative of mine, uh, a Miss Maddie Silks. Uh, she was engaged to some fancy fella, if I remember. Mr. Poe's also engaged. The lady's name is Lyles, Maddie Lyles. Lyles? Well, that was Maddie's mother's name. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Poe.
What do you want? Well, I have a present for the boy. Walking stick. Useful for getting around. Also useful against bloodthirsty savages. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. And for the lady of the house, fresh cut flowers all the way from Kansas City. Joey, give it back. It's dangerous. Oh, Mom. Now. Yes, ma'am. Tend to your chores. Do as your mother says, boy. Yes, sir. Your flowers are also unwelcome and a mistake. You're the one making a mistake, Maddie. You can't marry that man. I'm begging you. Well, it's my mistake. And it ain't my first one either. As I recall, I was your first mistake. I'm not proud of that or the life I led. But that all ended once I had Joey. I still care for you, Maddie. I know you care for me. You need to leave. Pop will be here soon. Whatever shortcomings he may have. He's punctual. What about last night? It never happened. Sit down. Had a long talk with an old friend of yours today. Fred Finley. So tell me, Miss Lyles, or is it Miss Silks? How exactly? Did your husband get killed? What battle? Little round top. No more lies! Bastard. That's the only bastard around here. And I raised him as my own. You know what, Maddie? I'll give you a job at the Bull's Head. You can always use another good whore down there. I didn't know you were the Prince of Pistoliers. I better not find out this came from you. You're crazy. 
proud of me, Bill. And I don't like to be crowded. I don't like to be lied to. You lying to me? No. Good. Can I help you, son? I think my demons have finally caught up with me. Every man has demons, son. Man's demons go quiet. I'm never quite silent. She was my light. The thing that kept the demons in the dark. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. Only God can forgive you now, you son of a bitch. <laughs> No one can run forever, son. You quit, you surrender, then dog your heels till the day you die. But not if you face it. Now ask yourself which you'd rather live with. Where is he? Please don't. Please. Let's go. We have to go. Get your things. Put your hands down! Guns are not allowed in town no more. That ain't no law anymore. There's a new lawman in town. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Listen, when you get to what you tell you seek out a man named Herb, okay? He's a good man. He take care of you. Come with us, Bill. You know I can. I have to finish this, Maddie. I've been running my entire life. You're still running. 
It's time for you to hang up your guns. If you stay, we can't wait for you. I'll wait for you a while, Bill. You do as your mother says, boy. I don't know why you're going back. You're going back because you're a hero. No, son. I'm going back because I'm a coward. Sometimes it takes more courage to walk away. You be a man. Take care of your mother for me, okay? Tickets, please. You got me, sir. You ain't gonna try to stop me, are you? Nope. Reckon you want this. Shoot me in the back, would you, Hickok? Guess not. Five hundred dollars to the man that kills Wild Bill. I'll show you wild, you fuck. Wild 
feel my ass power. I'll show you wow. They suck. Yeah. You piece of shit. Yeah. Damn it. I'm done running.